So the Supreme Court denied emergency review in a case that challenged a rifle and shotgun permit process, and that denial by the Supreme Court has now doomed this case. So let's break down what just happened. Now, really quick before we jump into this video, I want to ask you all for a huge favor. Looking at some of my analytics, about 60% of all my viewers are actually not subscribed to the channel. So if you want to support the channel for free, one of the ways to do that is simply subscribing to the channel. And then also just double check because YouTube loves to unsubscribe people. I get comments every single day from people that they've been unsubscribed by YouTube. So just double check that. But regardless, thank you guys so much for all of your support. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, in this video, we're going to be discussing an important rifle and shotgun permit case, which was recently denied emergency intervention by the United States Supreme Court. The case challenges the city of New York's permit requirements that essentially must be met to possess and acquire a rifle or shotgun within the city. The case we're gonna be talking about in this video is Schrauer versus the city of New York. And one of the major issues with this case and one of the major issues with the whole permit process that's being challenged is the fact that it is purely discretionary. That means that the police department there in New York gets to have all the power to determine who can legally possess and acquire these types of firearms. And that's what's being challenged in this case. This case was brought by the plaintiff there, Joseph Schrauer, who challenged the constitutionality of the New York City discretionary licensing scheme. And on review, the district court actually granted a permanent injunction against the provisions of that licensing scheme. So they ruled in favor of Mr. Schrauer. One of the main things they found an issue with was that good moral character standard. They believe that under Bruin, that type of discretionary permit process was no longer permitted. That of course was a huge win, but the city of New York did not want to let that stand. So then the city appealed that permanent injunction up to the horrible Second Circuit Court of Appeals. New York at the same time also sought a stay on that lower court judgment and that was granted by the Second Circuit. And that's what led then the plaintiff here, Joseph Schrauer, to file the emergency application to the Supreme Court. He wanted that emergency stay to be removed. And the plaintiff here, Joseph Schrauer, argued that the Second Circuit's reliance on the CCIA Antonyuk case, which involved concealed carry handgun licenses, that that was incorrect. The plaintiff here, Joseph Schrauer, pointed out that the Antonyuk case is not binding on appeal. The Second Circuit should not have relied on that. And it also involved a preliminary injunction, not a merits-based determination like what is going on here with this case. Also, the Antonyuk analysis is confined just to handguns. It does not involve permitting and possession licensing for things like long guns and shotguns. Also, one of the very interesting things about what the Second Circuit did on the stay was that they outright rejected applying Bruin's analysis, just like Antonyuk did. Antonyuk relied heavily on looking at the Bruin case as an exceptional regulation and an exceptional case. And so in Antonyuk and also in Schrauer, they're trying to say these are not exceptional cases and not exceptional issues. Unlike Bruin, we don't have to really look at the same type of analysis. Now, like I mentioned, that emergency application was filed to Justice Sotomayor, who denied the application and went to the full court for consideration. And again, it was denied by the full court. That then meant that the Second Circuit was free to issue the decision that they wanted. The Second Circuit held oral arguments in this case, and in front of the Second Circuit, there were some very interesting arguments that took place. One of the things that sprung up during those arguments was that New York now argues that this entire lawsuit and all these issues are now moot, and that the Second Circuit should find that this case is moot and just dismiss the entire case. New York argued that Mr. Schrauer has received a permit since filing this lawsuit, and because of that, he now can obtain no form of relief that he's seeking in this lawsuit. And because of that, this issue is moot. They argued that he doesn't have standing here because his original lawsuit was against the prior New York state statute. Um, so they also say he doesn't have standing to challenge the CCIA because his original lawsuit filed in 2019 was against the old statutory language. But after that, after the Bruin decision in 2022, New York passed the CCIA just eight days after that creating some new statutory language. So his lawsuit filed in 2019, challenging the old language, does not stay valid with the new language. Now, during the hearings, they argue that the Second Circuit should vacate the permanent judgment that was issued by the lower court as moot. And essentially what they did is they gave the Second Circuit the out to not really have to review this issue at all. They said that the Second Circuit would not even have to review this issue on the merits. Simply, they could look at the mootness application see if this case is moot, and then dismiss the case if they want it. And when listening to those arguments, when we reviewed the hearing, I said that it was very likely that the Second Circuit 
would in fact take the easy out, that they would find that this issue was moot. And because of that, they would avoid ruling on the actual constitutional merits of the case. And that's exactly what they just did. We just received an order from the Second Circuit mooting the entire case and not addressing the merits of this case at all. They stated in their order that we now hold that because Schrauer has been granted the very relief he sought, the case before us is moot and we lack jurisdiction to hear the merits. Accordingly, we vacate the district court's judgment in joining New York City Administrative Code subsection 10-303A2 and declaring it facially unconstitutional, dismiss this appeal as moot and remand the case to the district court with instructions to dismiss Schrauer's claims for injunctive and declaratory relief. They go on to state that there is no indication that the city granted Schrauer's rifle and shotgun permit to intentionally moot this case or even that its actions were related to this lawsuit. It is true that the city's action in granting Schrauer a rifle and shotgun permit was the final action in a chain of actions that ultimately mooted this appeal. However, as explained, the first action in that chain was precipitated by Schrauer himself as he reapplied for a rifle and shotgun permit on October 26th, 2023, after the district court granted summary judgment in his favor and the city filed a notice of interlocutory appeal in this action. The city was required to timely process the new application that Schrauer submitted, and there is no indication that his permit was granted for the purpose of mooting this appeal. So there the Second Circuit is talking about that this issue was mooted because he got the permit that he wanted, and they are arguing that the city did not do this intentionally to moot this issue. Now, there are two main considerations to overcome these types of mootness arguments, one of them being that the party here tried to moot the case intentionally, and then the second one is that even if the issue was mooted, that the injury here is likely to reoccur or something can happen where a new injury can arise. Schrauer argued that not only did the city of New York intentionally grant his permit in 2024 after litigation started in 2019 to now moot this case, but also he claims that the city still has power to either revoke his license, discretionary basis, however they want, or also deny his renewal of the permit because this permit has to be renewed. So not only can the city revoke it whenever they want, but they can also deny his renewal if they want to. On both issues, the Second Circuit simply deferred to what the city claimed. And the city claimed that they did not grant the application because of this lawsuit. And they also claimed that they do not intend to revoke his permit or to deny the renewal after the case is now mooted. So they're pretty much saying, we promised Second Circuit that we didn't do this intentionally. And we also promised that we are not going to revoke or deny his renewal. The city claims that they would only take action against his permit if he ultimately had a criminal issue or something that ultimately voids his permit. The court stated that though Schrauer argues that his license will be subject to suspension and revocation at the will of the license division, there is no evidence to support the contention that his license will not in fact be subject to automatic renewal as required by this section. Nor is there evidence as Schrauer contends that his application was granted specifically to seek vacature of the permanent injunction. And based on all that, the Second Circuit has now mooted the rifle and shotgun permit challenge and has thrown the entire case out. Now, I want to note when it comes to the mootness issue, the state of New York and the city of New York has a very clear track record of mooting cases by getting applications or granting those applications or ultimately also changing the law. So there's a clear track record that that is exactly what the city of New York does. That's exactly what the state also does. And so for the second circuit here to say that there is no evidence that they did this intentionally is kind of laughable to me because they have a track record of exactly doing that. Now, when it comes to this specific case, I suspect that an appeal to the en banc panel might come or ultimately just a review to the Supreme Court will be sought. Uh, most likely, I believe they will go to the Supreme Court arguing that the Second Circuit should not have moved this case, that they should not have thrown this challenge out, that there are still types of facial challenges that are valid despite him getting that permit. So we'll probably see something get filed to the Supreme Court. And it will also be interesting because they will argue probably or include in their brief that this is a direct ramification of the Supreme Court not getting involved prior on an emergency basis. And as a result of that, then suddenly the Second Circuit felt that they could simply just moot this issue and find a way out of actually reviewing this case. So if anything else changes, if I get any more information, I will let you guys know. Also, if you like this video and you would like to support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, and subscribe. All those things help to fuel the algorithm and it signals to YouTube that you guys see value in these videos and in this type of two-way news. But as always, thank you all for watching. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. And never forget this nation was built by arm scholars and this nation will be maintained by arm scholars.